Our effort to fight malaria is a great example of partnering. We collaborate with a number of partners to distribute our malaria treatment, Coartum, without profit to the developing world. We're also going beyond just delivering the medicine, and we're working together with several partners to remotely monitor inventory levels of anti-malarials to help prevent stockouts in rural areas. For example, we work with diverse partners, such as the Tanzanian Ministry of Health, IBM, Medicines for Malaria Venture, and Vodafone. And as a result, we've helped reduce malaria rates with our Coartum Access Program. This would not have been possible without partnerships. In healthcare, I expect we'll continue to see a shift toward greater collaboration. I think it's important to put aside self-interest and focus on working together to deliver good health outcomes that are also cost-effective. At Novartis, we're moving away from the traditional transactional approach of selling pills, and we're adapting our model to focus on delivering positive patient outcomes. We're working with governments, hospitals, and payers in new ways to deliver more services for patients around the world. For healthcare, as well as other industries, following the science is critical. Delivering real breakthroughs requires us to focus on what the science shows will be most effective. That's why we don't include finance or marketing teams in our discussions about research. We never want market potential to direct our R&D efforts. Science and unmet medical needs should always come first. Now, this approach has allowed us to look at so many areas of medicine where we can make a real difference, including fragile X syndrome, debilitating auto-inflammatory diseases that have a small patient population but affect whole families, and CML, a rare type of leukemia that can now be managed like a chronic disease in many cases.